Save money, reduce maintenance, and be kind to the environment with sustainable lawn and landscape care. Working with nature, repurposing plant trimmings, and keeping water where it falls can help you grow a beautiful landscape that contributes to a healthier environment. Incorporating these few practices into your regular landscape maintenance regime can make a big difference in the beauty and time spent caring for your landscape. Don't let rainwater run off the roof, across the lawn, and into the storm sewer. Capture it with a rain barrel to use for watering ornamental gardens and containers. Here are some features to look for when selecting a rain barrel. Make sure the top is covered to keep out debris, mosquitoes, and other insects. The spigot should be low on the barrel so water doesn't stagnate at the bottom. An overflow outlet near the top of the barrel is necessary for periods of heavy rain and for interlocking several barrels. Or use a downspout diverter to redirect water to the downspout, preventing rain barrel overflows. Dress it up with paint, camouflage with plantings, or tuck it out of sight. Start by disconnecting one downspout. Once you incorporate that first rain barrel into your gardening practices, you can install more rain barrels, helping to keep water on your landscape for use in your gardens. Install rain gardens to improve the health and beauty of your landscape while helping prevent water pollution and reducing the risk of basement backups. These gardens are specifically designed to intercept and temporarily hold excess water flowing off walks, drives, roofs, and other hard surfaces. As rainwater filters through plant roots and soil in the rain garden, many impurities are removed before reaching the groundwater. Locate the garden where it intercepts and collects runoff from the lawn and hard surfaces before it reaches the storm sewer. Place it on a downward slope at least 10 feet away from your home's foundation. Keep rain gardens away from tree roots, water laterals, and utilities. Always call 811, a free underground utility locating service, at least three days before you start digging. Dig your garden to the proper depth for capturing and temporarily holding rainwater as it drains through the soil to the groundwater below. Add compost to increase the water holding ability of sandy soils and increase drainage of clay soil. Direct water from the downspout to the rain garden using a downspout extension or swale. Fill your garden with plants tolerant of wet and dry soils and suited to your growing conditions. Water after planting and as needed the first few years as the plants develop deep, more drought tolerant roots. Spread a layer of organic mulch over the soil surface to suppress weeds and conserve moisture. Once established, you'll only need to do supplemental watering during extended dry periods. Soon, you'll be enjoying the added beauty the rain garden plants and visiting birds, butterflies, and other pollinators add to your landscape. Boost your lawn's health and reduce your workload with these simple strategies. Mow high to slow water crossing the lawn and encourage deeper, robust root systems. Mow often, removing no more than one-third the total height of the grass. This is less stressful on the lawn and the shorter clippings break down quickly, adding moisture, nutrients, and organic matter to the soil. A season's worth of clippings is equal to one fertilizer application. In the fall, mow leaves along with the grass and leave them on the lawn, adding even more organic matter and nutrients to the soil. Have your soil tested before you begin fertilizing. The results will tell you what type and how much of any fertilizer is needed. Use and your aesthetic goals influence fertilization frequency. Those looking for a golf course quality lawn or expose the grass to heavy use will need to fertilize more often. Fertilize less often if you're willing to tolerate a less than perfect lawn with a few weeds. Consider using Melorganite, a low nitrogen, slow release fertilizer. It provides small amounts of nutrients over a longer period of time. This promotes slow, steady, balanced top and root growth, resulting in more drought tolerant and pest resistant grass. Core aerate your lawn if it's growing on compacted soil. The openings allow water and fertilizer to reach plant roots. Spread a layer of compost over the surface, filling the holes left behind. The added organic matter helps absorb water for the lawn to use while reducing the amount of rainwater that ends up in the storm sewer. Conserve water by allowing your lawn to go dormant during hot and dry weather. 
Most lawn grasses will recover from dry periods, but you'll have a few more weeds to manage. Keeping the lawn healthy is the best defense against weeds. Try digging weeds if they are few in number or you have a small lawn. If this isn't practical, spot treat problem areas using more environmentally friendly broadleaf weed killers and corn gluten meal pre-emergent. Last but just as important, sweep clippings and fertilizer off of walks, drives, and other hard surfaces and back into the lawn. This helps keep them out of our waterways where they can contribute to water pollution. A few simple changes in lawn care can make a big difference. Adding native plants to the landscape is a great way to support pollinators, help keep water where it falls, and add year-round beauty to your landscape. Start by incorporating native plants into existing gardens and when creating new planting beds. The native plants slow the flow of water, keeping much of it on your property and out of the storm sewer. Their deep roots create pathways for rainwater to enter and travel through the soil. Plant roots and soil help remove impurities from the water before it enters the groundwater and aquifers. Start small by adding native plants to your existing gardens. As a plant needs replacing or you start a new garden, look for a native plant that thrives in the growing conditions and is the right size and bloom time for your garden design. The next step may be a garden of all native plants. Design it like you would any other flower bed. Include a variety of native plants so your garden will be filled with flowers throughout the season, seed heads in winter to attract birds, and provide homes for beneficial insects. Once you experience the beauty and many benefits of adding native plants to your landscape, you'll be looking for many opportunities to include them in your gardens. Trees give off oxygen, shade our homes, remove pollutants from the air, and so much more. But did you know? They also help keep water where it falls, combat flooding, and help reduce water pollution. As rain falls onto a tree, some of that water is captured in the leaf canopy and eventually evaporates back into the atmosphere. The rest travels down the trunk and branches at a much slower speed than the rainwater that lands directly on the soil. This slower rate of travel allows the soil to absorb more rainfall so less runs off into the street. The leaf litter, ground cover, or mulch beneath the tree protects the soil from erosion. These also help capture some of the stormwater. This, combined with the pathways created by ground cover and tree roots, allow the water to infiltrate the soil. As water passes over all parts of the tree, through the mulch, and along the roots, many of the pollutants are removed. A large portion of the rainwater that reaches the soil is absorbed by the roots and eventually moves throughout the rest of the tree. Much of this water passes through the tree and is eventually released into the atmosphere through transpiration. Make a difference in your landscape and community by planting trees. Select those suited to the growing conditions that will fit the available space once mature. No room for a tree or two in your own yard? Work with your local municipality to find ways to add more to parks and green spaces in the community so everyone can benefit.